Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to teach you or show you maybe more than teach how to make a haunted house. So I know a lot of you are quite bored at home, you're social distancing, you're not getting out that much, maybe your kids are super bored. So this is actually quite a nice project to be doing either by yourself or with your family. It's kid friendly most of the part. The first thing you have to keep in mind about this, this type of things are how big do you want them to be. This one is 30 centimeters tall which are 12 inches and 27 centimeters wide which is 10 inches and 20 around here this side, I don't know the word right now for it, which is eight inches. So I think this is a pretty good size. I use it because I have kind of like a um, shelf with some spooky stuff. So I have it there decorating and I didn't want it to be too small, but also not gigantic. I mean, wouldn't fit anywhere. So keep that in mind. Once you know the size of the house, you can start with the sketches and if you want to plan out all of the sides of the house, that's okay, you can do that. I just did the frontal part because it's the part that I was going to show more. And this thing goes against the wall so nobody will see the back side of it. It has some windows, but they're basically useless. So this is a house I made in January and sadly I don't have most of the sketches anymore because I threw them away, but I do have the most important ones, which are the sketches of the designs of the front part. So I'm going to show you now. Whoops. So basically the house looks more like this one. Uh, it just doesn't have the stairs here at the end and a few couple of, of things changed too. And also keep in mind, if you're not quite sure about which materials you're using, you have to think when you're doing the sketches about what you're going to use. If you're using cardboard, cardboard is generally a, a little bit rigid. So for example, this thing I could not have done. And this is the first house I made. So I'm not quite good at sculpture. I used to really hate it. And I kind of got into it this year, so yeah, this is my first big project, sculpture project. So I made that mistake of not thinking how the material is going to impact like the design and those are things you learn from. <laughs> so I stuck to this thing, this design here. And I started making like my walls, like um, drawing out my walls, kind of so, like this. So you divide everything, how big you want everything to be. Once you have all of these sides planned out, this one, this one, all of that, you just have to cut this one out and put it on some cardboard. You could tape it so that you could draw these out a little bit more securely and you have to cut out the windows too. So once you have that done and you have all the sides cut out, what I would start with is the bottom part, the kind of floor, this part. So once you have the bottom part, the only thing you have to do is get your glue gun and stick all the walls to it like that. I did not film how I assembled this thing, so I can really show you how I made that, but I think, I think I'm explaining it quite okay. It's not so hard, you guys. It's really not so hard. Once you have all the parts glued together, which is, this is, this part is like really fast. When you have all the walls cut out and glued together, that goes so fast. What you would do then next is doing all the small details like, balcony, um, whatever you call those things, um, windows, I don't know the words in English for that right now. The last thing you would do is kind of decoration like I made the snakes and that eye. That's the absolute last thing you would do and the, the spider webs. Or if you're planning on sticking, I don't know, spiders or Maybe you could put something inside. I mean, you could, I didn't, but you could. <laughs> but it's me, I'm lazy. So yeah, 
you're just I don't know what to tell you guys anymore I'm kind of lost right now let me see my notes painting I have a few painting videos you're going to see next I wasn't really like meticulous with it I didn't do a lot of shadows or lights or anything and I used acrylics because I had them at home so that was easier for me, but you could use anything. Maybe I wouldn't use oil because that stuff, it takes some time for it to dry. But you could use anything else you wanted. Experiment. Have fun. So after you're done with painting, the thing that you should do next is think about the decorative elements that you want to put on your house. Like, do you want snakes? Um, more spider webs. Spiders. Maybe a witch. So the snakes I made to hide a few mistakes I made while gluing the sides and it works. <laughs> so keep in mind you can do whatever you want, it doesn't have to look like the first sketch you've done and just have fun with it. Keep in mind when you're doing the sketches, like you should think if you want to put some lights into the house because I did not think about it. And at the end I decided to put some string lights I already had in the house, but I didn't have an opening for it. So I had to stick the lights through a window and now it kind of... So now the thing goes out like this. And that is not very flattering. You don't have to put lights into them, I just wanted to tell you guys so you are aware of all of these things because since this is my first house I made so many mistakes and I want you guys to learn from them so I hope I explained this as best as possible it's been so long since I've made a video and I think I've never made one where I explained something so keep that in mind <laughs> just have fun with it be creative if the first one doesn't work out you know throw it away, make another one, learn from the mistakes you're doing and even if you do a few mistakes, like I made a bunch of them, don't get discouraged, just continue, the house will look fine after all. And that's it for today, I hope you understood my somewhat of a tutorial and if you decide to make this house, please share it with me, I would love to see what you've done. And you can find me on Instagram. I will leave all my social media below and also some links to what kind of materials the foam and the FEMO is in case some of you aren't very experienced in crafting so you guys can search them and buy them if you want to make this house. And that's basically it so have a great day!